Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down nine. Nasdaq's off 78. S&P's off eight and a half. Gold contract up $2.80 trading 1806 an ounce. You got silver up a uh, penny $18.98 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 33 cents $39.95 cents a barrel notes and bonds. We have the 10 year flat 30 year up 12 ticks, 180.24. Both those notes and bonds, folks, looks like they're gonna break topside. Uh, pretty amazing, actually. Uh, but uh, bottom line, it is what it is. King dollar, King dollar down 116 ticks, trading 96.584. The euro out here is at 113. The yen is at 106.72, and the British pound is at 126 to one US dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Uh, there's a lot going on, man. Red on the board. I was doing my program. You had the markets going from negative to positive. It was almost ironic, man. Another day, another day in the life, right? It was. And I think what happened there when you were doing your program, it was the, yeah. uh, it was actually the Canadian jobs that actually come in. Was um, that what? And it was, was a, a big number. It was a big yeah. number. Uh, and bottom line is that market reacted to it. Uh, you know, they, they got more jobs than they, they were expecting. That being said, guess what? Uh, when you have the NQs down 75, it's a whole different ball game, man. And, yeah. you know, plenty of the um, headline NQ stocks still haven't broken. It's not even close either. Sure. You know, we had Amazon down, eight, you know, $25, got it down 85 from the high, but big deal, right? <laughs> it's yeah. like, you know. No, nothing, barely. Yeah. So this is going to be wild watching this thing shake out. What you do have, folks, is there's no doubt the NQs have been holding the market up. So you get those NQs down, this could be a pretty uh, wild day. Um, I sure. suspect it will be a wild day. Let's, yeah, let's put I think way. so, too, everywhere, yeah. man. Yeah, no no doubt. We get over, we take a look at the gold market out here. What you have with gold, bottom line, you're holding price inside the gold market. We're going to have monster volume again out here today. You get 118,000 contracts. So on the weekly basis, we're going to have some monster volume here on this breakout, folks, which is pretty cool. So the breakout level was that uh, 1787 to 1789. You know, we got that down on Wednesday. Uh, what you're going to have here is that this, this is, um, we got, yeah, we got 118,000. I think yesterday we did 200 and, let's see, 283 was the day before. Oh, look at even better. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, 283 was yesterday. The day before was uh, 248. We're at 118. That'll probably do about 220, 230, which you need sure. for higher price. That, that's, that's the real bottom line. Um, you know, dollar, dollar still wants lower price. You're at 96, uh, 572. Uh, lower price is coming at you. Uh, the airlines, this is going to be a big number, folks. Um, you know, United right now is up 37 cents. I mean, but the bottom line is that uh, when you take a look at what they have all already done, meaning given their employees a heads up, uh, the bottom line is that these airlines are going to get cut in half. That's, that's the way this thing is looking. And sure. I think what was so intriguing about the United numbers is that the, um, the unions didn't like what they heard, but no. they felt that United was only, was the, their quotation was United was only, the only one that was in reality. <laughs> Okay. You know, yeah. So that they were appreciative of that. Let's put it that way. Do you know what I mean? They didn't like what they hear, but they 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 are waiting for the other airlines to basically, you know, drop it and Follow say, okay, suit. how many are gonna, you know, and yeah. under law, folks, they have to do it. That's the bottom line. They got to give sure. people sixty days. Yes. Um, you know, so it's a big number, man. It's it is. It's it is. No one's flying, man. That's you know, it's it's no. simple math. You know, in terms of that, and, and you know, you see eighty to ninety percent that travel industry is down, man. Just right. And and the business part, which we've been talking about, is not going to come back overnight. You know. No. Nope. I think nope. when you know when we can travel, yeah, you know, people will be. <laughs> will oh, say, I can't okay, wait. I 
to go. I want to go. Exactly. You know, right. business wise, yeah, you got a, you got a different ball game now. There's no, yeah. there's, you know, there's no doubt about that. Did you see um, Barbados when I was talking about on my did. show this morning? I did. Uh, where is it? Is it up here? Do I have it? There it is. Barbados. They're they're seizing the opportunity, man. Look at those beautiful beaches, man. I Barbados. Listen, man. We get it. We right? get it. Uh, There's no reason we can't have a TFN in a remote site down there. We got them all right across the United States. <laughs> totally, man. Um, they're smart. They're gonna they're gonna allow like 12 month visas. You know, get people there for the year. You can set up. You can work for the year. You can go back and forth. You're on the same visa. Um, they realize, man, this is you know we're in a unique position in Florida as well in terms of not we're not not quite Barbados, but we got a lot of beautiful beaches, man. We do. And, um, we do. We're going to see we'll, kind of some of that some of that exodus there after November after the hurricane season. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. in we're in some hot and humid times right now, uh, and we're coming into that hurricane season. I mean, Faye, right? Tropical storms at Faye um, coming down it, it to must the be, northeast. I just I just got soaked. I just literally got soaked coming into the office. You know, right right now it is yeah. pouring, and I don't know if this is the beginning of it. We're just getting sideswiped because it's going up to New York and New Jersey. But right yeah, now I get the it's chart up Pete, there. It's like uh, it's it's raining, be dogs and cats. I think that's a different one because it's right now sitting uh, on the coast of North Carolina, Virginia, yeah, okay. um, New Jersey. So yeah. we just got our normal Florida sun uh, buckets of rain that fall out those yeah, sun showers. Totally. So yeah. let's uh, let's talk Tesla. You were talking about it on your program today. Yeah. Now this is going to get really interesting, folks, because what's happening here now? Th this is you, you got to feel for the shots here because you have two different things happening that they are coming out with their earnings. Let's see when they're coming out with their earnings. They're coming out with their earnings July 22nd. Yes. If, in fact, they, um, they come out with positive numbers, they're going to get placed in the S&P 500. Profitability. There you go. Yeah. Yep. So what you have here is this. If you get placed in the S&P 500, every index fund okay, in the world has to buy Tesla. Sure. Now, the last time that this happened, that you had a stock that was so dramatic, listen to this number, folks. So this is sick. When Yahoo, this happened to Yahoo, going all the way, this is going back to, to 1999, I believe. When it got placed, in 10 days, Yahoo went up 40%, Tom. Oh, man. 4 zero. Yeah. Wow. But, and because what happens, folks, is this. Just say so you can really get, get this clear. They have to buy it. This is not a, a deal that, you know, if you're following the, and the S&P 500, the bottom sure. line, if you have a fund, you have to buy it. Now, what people are expecting, and, you know, is that the people are actually buying it ahead of time, okay? Because of the fact that when you get placed in it, the bottom line is that, you know, it's dramatic. And as one yeah. of the... Uh, Tigers are saying, well, it's up 40% in seven days. Well, great. Exactly. Guess what? Right. That doesn't mean a thing. Because <laughs> the, the bottom line, to be, it can be up another something. 200%. No, it could, for you sure. But, yeah. So, um, and I suspect that here, and this is what's really crazy, too. This is going to be the first stock. I think it said this is a $20 billion bet. Yeah, this is the first time ever. Okay, so Tesla's... Uh, shots, let's see, Tesla's skeptics are undeterred by Musk poking fun at them over the car maker stock surge, with the amount of shares being sold headed for a milestone. The stock is supposed to first to be the first to hit a yeah. shot interest of twenty billion dollars. Right, it's poised to be that level, right? Twenty billion, man. It's it's when you have uh oh. it's crazy. We should talk about it a little bit more, but oh. it's just crazy. That yeah. thing's gonna go to the moon, man. That's gonna take them south, man. That's, hey, that yeah. is they go up until they don't, man. Oh, we'll I listen, see. I know that. But yeah. I, I wouldn't want to be on that side. I would right not now. be sure that's coming not into uh earnings. No way. No Stay way. right there, Tommy and I come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now, 54. Nasdaq's down 43. S&P's are flat. And we get a question in the uh, Tiger's Den uh, in YouTube. And what it is, uh, if you have a stock that's uh, making all-time highs, regularly take CrowdStrike or Tesla, for example, what are the signs that you should sell or at least take uh, principal off the table? That's a great question. Uh, now, <laughs> answer-wise, this is where this gets really intriguing. I mean, the, so first let's look at Tesla because what you, what you have here, when you get an extension, you know, what, what I do is this. I, I'm always looking for ABC structures to finish because uh, once they finish out, they do something other than continue going higher. And Tesla's case, you know, is it an all-time high? Yeah. Okay. Can it go higher? Yeah. It really depends <laughs> on, okay, like where'd you get in? What are you looking for? And what I do in this Quake case. Let me look at CrowdStrike. C R O W. Might be C R W D. Yeah. Yeah. So CrowdStrike. Okay. In CrowdStrike's case, I'd take it right away. And this is why. So what ended up happening here? So CrowdStrike went from $32 to 117 in three months. You had the high volume high out here at. Uh, on the 3rd of June, you tested it with 6 million shares versus 21, but now here's the kicker. So you get the test, then you get the sell down yeah. with an expansion of volume of 17 million, then you made a higher high with six. So that one there technically just says, hey man, that's, that's pulling back. And you know, there's only, there's not only so much money you can make, but the bottom line is that when you are in winners like that, in a huge way, that is something that I would say that you got to figure out yourself. How much heat do you want to take? Yeah. Do you want to be in it for two or three years? You know what? What's the trade, right? You what's know, the Amazon, trade? Amazon, Amazon, man. Um, I mean, talk about a rocket ship, right? If you're trading short term, man, you better be thinking at least thinking about taking some profits off. You just you just almost doubled. You just made a hundred percent on a company like Amazon. 
right. um, in, in three months. Right. Uh, now, long term, though, I don't know, man. Are no, you that, sell that's out right. Here? The long term is a different when, deal. I, I listen, you, man. You, I, I've yeah. taken heat inside the gold market. I've been up 150 percent. I've taken a 75 cent retracement yeah. on it because I just to me that this and gold's going going period. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you're so gonna own- it, it really that's where it really comes down to. Do you know what I mean? Right. It, it's what do you, what do the you, tough part with Amazon, because the way I think about it, right, is if you do take profits right now and you want to be a long term holder, though, well, when are you going to decide to get back in? What's what's the oh, totally. you know what I'm saying? Like right. there's no right. What happens when the stock goes up to thirty six hundred? Right. And then the retracement is only to thirty two fifty and that, it never actually makes it back to here. That's right. Because um, if you're so thinking it, of getting back in the way that I would look at this is that. If you're looking that you might sell it in three to six months, I'd get out. Yes, okay? definitely. I if agree. you're talking, you know, two or three years, well, guess what? You know, the bottom line is story. that, guess what? There's going to yeah. be more people on the earth. There's going to be more yeah. of everything, right. okay? The bottom right. line, the numbers are going to go down. I mean, yeah. you know. Now, what, what I could just add is that the one thing you could do is is you almost have to recalibrate your portfolio sometimes, man. If you just had a big chunk in tests and, and Amazon, and now you've got twice that in Amazon, right? There's no shame there with maybe pulling, I mean, 10 shares is, is what, $32,000, man. Yeah. Um, so no shame in maybe just reallocating a little bit if you have that much in one one company that's run up so much. But that's just almost reallocation, man. It just doesn't usually happen this quick in companies that big. Uh, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. But there's no doubt. And they, you know, the the... Yeah, it's it's a tough one. Uh, it's just because you, if you were already overweighted at Nasdaq, more power to you. That's the way you should have been, obviously. Um, but geez, right now, I mean, if you were overweighted when you came into COVID with Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, um, you better just make sure that you're either in it for the long haul in those stocks because you might. There might be a year or two even, man. We just went up 100%. And depending, you know, this this gets interesting. I don't want to push people into the aspect of uh, the option market. But if you're in options, too, and in equities, folks, and you get a big score, another way of doing this, which is a monster way to generate real money. Like right now, Amazon's at 3170, right? Yes. Well, the bottom line is that instead of even selling, you can say, okay, I'm going to go out and sell a 3170 August call. Cool. And you're, you're going to generate $200, okay? Yeah. Per 100 shares. It's, it's, sure. It's, it's huge. Okay, so the bottom line is that you, all of that insulates you is 200 on the way down, but that's a great way of doing it also. And but it is. what you got to understand is that if you get called out, you got to give up the shares. But guess what? You're giving up the shares at 3373. So. You yes. know, you're at 3173 right now. You know? Right. So let's go to Philip in St. Pete. Hey, Philip, what's going on, brother? Hey, guys, how you doing? You're not riding hey, the bike today, man. I just got soap coming in. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it came over here earlier just a little bit, and, and it looks like on the map we're going to get some more. Uh, I know. No, it's a good one. <laughs> so what are we going to look at out here? This is for uh, some friends of mine. Couple of couple of friends, they got into this, and you know I know how penny stocks can be, so uh, I think take, they've gotten in it at okay, over ninety so cents and even you know over a dollar. You got Diffusion Pharmaceutical, biotech company. Companies, uh, let's see, focused on current standard care treatments, radiation therapy, chemo- chemotherapy for cancer patients. The lows twenty one cents, the highs two seventy two. You're trading eighty four cents. They don't have, you know, income, but guess what? That in the, inside the biotech business, that's happened a lot. Okay, so you get 153, 152. Well, yeah, you don't you don't have anything happening, but yeah, can it spike to 153 again? Yeah, it can. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you know, we, yeah. I mean it. That's the top of the range, you know, that 153. I mean, you'd have to have the market continue going with us, uh, Philip, okay? But what it did do is, you know, it didn't take out a swing. Now, the danger part here is that it didn't take out that 227. You know, so you spiked, but you didn't take out a major swing point. You didn't take out any swing point. Then you pull back. You have light volume on the pullback, but the top of that range is 153, man. So, you know. Where do you see support in this? The... Uh, 
I mean, if it breaks right where it's at right now, then it's trouble. You know, well, yeah. let me just T. And I would say it's trouble if you if we get a pullback in the market at all. That's 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 okay. how most of these go. I mean, the the real the real buy on this is all the way down to like fifty cents. That's where it started higher. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, if it breaks this. Well, it's been teetering there to yesterday and today. If it breaks the 80 cents, you know, game is down there at 50 cents. That, that's where it okay. started from. All right. Cooking, brother. You been down to the pier? I haven't yet. I haven't. I know. I got to get down there. I know. We, the uh, the pier right. opened up, folks. It's extraordinary. It's St. Pete. Yeah. Maybe this weekend. Yeah, cool. Cooking, brother. Thanks right, so guys. much, man. Have, Have a, a great one. one. Thanks, a safe man. one. Thanks, Philip. See you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow right now uh, up 54. NASDAQ is down 18. S&Ps are up 3.5. We'll come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 66. NASDAQ is uh, down 20. S&Ps are up uh, three and a half. Uh, and now uh, today's turn, folks, is Roku to uh, make the run. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Is it? Okay, yeah. I haven't so seen it. In two days, okay, <laughs> it's like you go from one stock to another. In two days, the stock's gone from 136 to 159. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. 
And let's see what they're going to say. Uh, yeah, just it's a broker dealer saying they see growth intact. <laughs> you know what was interesting? I saw an article earlier in the week uh, about NBC's Peacock streaming yes. service. Okay. And, and did you see this, that they had not secured deals yet with Roku and one other company, I believe. I forget what the other company was. But it just made me think how intricate the streaming platform is, right? So there's an instance where all of a sudden a company like NBC is at the whim of Roku. Isn't that right? wild? Yeah. Um, but guess what, folks? A lot of people out there with Roku, Roku's. And if you want the, a company like, you know, NBC Peacock to be able to get on there. Oh, I think the other one, the other one, you know who the other one was? Prime. Amazon Prime really? having a fire stick. Um, the two companies. How can I forget Amazon? Shame on me. Well, look, uh, look at these but, numbers, man. I mean, you know, th this is you know, this is a piece of software, folks. But the bottom line is that there's people, a lot of people that didn't believe in this stock at all. No. But this growth right. number is like the, the platform is growing by ninety-one percent. <laughs> Is that a big number? Oh my god! <laughs> so, so picture five years ago they took in three hundred ninety-eight million. Yeah. One point five billion this year. It doesn't. And I mean, they're gonna they're they're taking in one point five, and they're gonna grow that by thirty three percent to two billion dollars next year, taking it in, and just you know the place where you want to be. Sixteen hundred employees. Yeah, and they're and they're all coders. No, I kid. Um, but I, I bet most most of them. I, are. I bet a good right. portion of them are, man. That's yeah. what runs the world these days. Um, you, you're talking yeah, about it, it's a server business, man, right? That's, and that's where again, you know what it made me think. You know. We talk about Amazon, but it's like Amazon's got everything, man. They're never going to have to worry about that because they have so much negotiating power because they run the Internet with the cloud, with their fire stick, with everything they do um, versus a company like NBC that's oh, yeah. trying to find their place in that world of, you know, Apple, uh, Amazon and Netflix. Um, no, good no. luck. Yeah. We got to go over to the NQs. This is, this is like it don't stop, man. This is and what we're talking about, folks. Okay, so yeah, you had your now. Th this is a replay of yesterday. This is wild how a lot of this stuff is going, uh, which, which is just a, a, a mind blower. Okay, so the <laughs> NQs, right? Yesterday, right when we're getting off the air, eleven o'clock, Tom. Right, they're yes. ten thousand five sixty. Then they went all the way up to ten thousand seven seventy four. Seriously. Okay. Bottom the line, folks, moves. We, yeah. got, we got the downdraft at 10 o'clock this morning. Well, guess what? You're 100 points over the downdraft right now in the NQs. Could you jump in and take a look at what's moving in the NQs? Yeah, it's it's it, there's nothing real big in it. It's because yeah, I'm looking like Microsoft's actually down eight tenths right. percent right now. Um, get, so in, Apple's Net, down. Yeah. Netflix is the mover. That's yep. up three percent. You got yep. Ross Stores up 2.9. Ross Stores, okay. Gilead up 2.3 and Splunk. Okay. Taken away from it is that you got Trip.com down 2.5, JD's down 2.5. ADR, ADR. Yeah. yeah. Synopsis is down 2, and you get PayPal off uh, 2. Okay. Yeah. So I know what you're saying, though, but, you know, we'll see, um, you know, where this is uh, basically shaking out. Every time I keep looking at this market, man, I'm telling you, uh, I think inflation's here, man. Let me just GLCL. I gotta I want commodity prices. Cause if that's what we're talking, let me just go. Let's see. So let's go in the con market. So con's down today. That's down con, okay. Two pennies. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's strong though, man. See yeah, these commodities nice little... came off the lows on the twenty sixth. They, they did. Um put that back for a second. I uh, won't well, see oh, yeah. Oh. Where are you? Commodity prices. So let's see. That's called, let's go to soybeans. Oh, they're down a little. Nothing much, man. These, yeah, they're they're holding tight. You know. I mean, the ten-year yield is going to jump around. Oh. I mean, we're sitting right now at six tenths percent. I think we're at point five eight about when I started the show, man. We yeah. were up. I mean, I have a chart of the daily of the ten-year up there, and I was going over it in the show. Um, you really got to go back, man. This high from April 21st, 139.22. We got to a high today of 139.225, right above there, man. Um, the high from May 15th, 139.21, right? Just above that level. Um, so you're going all the way back, literally, to that um, that huge peak. The only time that it's showing, right up there. And it we is. Pull back and, and, yeah. and it's hard to comprehend, folks. This is what's happening here. It is absolutely hard to comprehend 
how bonds are actually going higher. You know, Larry was talking about in his program this morning. He says, "How can it happen?" He said, "The Fed. You know, yeah. said the Fed. Oh, they're listen. out there buying, man. It's it's, it's 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 a huge factor for sure. Oh, um, right. That, yeah, right. Yeah. And it's not going to take one thirty nine sixteen. So look at this. Yeah. So we we busted over today, and you're going to have the volume. We get six hundred and twenty seven thousand contracts. So that means it's going to do over a million today. Yeah. What did we do yesterday? Almost a million. Nine ninety four. Hey, let's. Someone's coming in there, man. They're coming in no, there. No, they're big numbers, man, in terms of float, floating right over those levels, you know, yeah. and they're, they're big levels. I mean, because the bottom end of that range, you could say, is about 138.15. Um, we've been bouncing for about a point, you know, yeah, we went all the way down on that low to 136.22, um, but we'll see what happens. Critical levels, that's for sure. No doubt. And uh, there's, a, there's, a great, there's, a, there's a great quote uh, statement inside the uh, den also. It's like, uh, why are the airlines and the util and the cruises up? Because <laughs> someone's buying them, folks. Okay. Oh, uh, totally yeah, right. But I absolutely agree with you. That 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 quote there is pretty good because guess what? Um, you know, it's like who's ever stepping in the middle of that mess um, has a high, very high risk tolerance. Uh, there's no doubt about it. So yeah. yeah. You know, the other thing, just adding in the YouTube chat they're talking about, which is true, I saw that Roku, they did a deal with Peloton um, that just got announced, too. So the market likes the fact maybe bringing those two together. Peloton, of course, that's a high earners. Um, talk about an expensive product. Talk about a product perfectly placed. Remember we were talking about this in the beginning, man? It had some woes down to 17. Trading at 65. We'll see if that holds, man. People, they love the product. But it's just so expensive, man. When is the Amazon bike going to come out that's just going to crush this thing? I, I kid it, but I'm serious, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Look you at don't this. think that they look at um, a, a stationary bike that sells for $2,000 and then signs people up to pay $25, $50, whatever it is a month uh, as a business plan that they like, man? Um, just include it. Sell them a $800 bike from Amazon and it's included in Prime for all their classes. Yeah. It's, you know? Now, the, the growth is exponential. Oh, you know? it is. Yeah. But they're still losing money. I mean, the, the, the subscription growth is up 136%. The, fit, yeah. the fitness product is up 97%. Yeah. But guess what? They're How taking, do you, taking $1.8 billion and lose 51 cents a share. Okay, so let's do that number. So $1.8 billion. That's going to be, and they're still going to lose a hundred million. How can it, these? I, yeah. I wish I went. To, I wish I went to a school that could teach me how to. There's almost never going to be a better time. They they're facing a huge backlog of products because they can't get them out so good. So <laughs> I don't know if that's going to continue. Um, hey, we'll see. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 145. NASDAQ is down 11. S&Ps are up 8.5. Let's go in, inside that Dow, Tom, and see what's uh, pushing that baby today. So we take a look at this. You got uh, Goldman uh, putting 34 positive points, J.P. Morgan 17, Boeing 17. So that's going to be intriguing because uh, next week, uh, let's see, J.P., the bank, so they're going to kick off earnings here. Yeah, the 14th. So uh, 10th, 11th, 12th, that's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Let me pull it up. Yes, I believe so, yeah. yeah. So, yep. uh, you know, and they're expecting, folks, they're not expecting great earnings. That's the bottom line. I don't, I don't think anyone in their right mind is going to expect anyone to be making money. Uh, we'll see what they uh, have to say, though, you know, going, going forward. Sure, yeah. There we go. NASDAQ just went positive. <laughs> uh, actually, the NDX went positive. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Give it three more seconds, and the uh, the C uh, the Nasdaq Comp is going to get there for you. Wow, this is something else. And Tesla just popped. When these these pops are like dramatic, man. <laughs> <laughs> we had a low today, folks, of thirteen seventy six. We're at fourteen eleven right now. Elon must be going out of his mind. Did you see that? What happened, folks, is that Elon is selling. He sold out immediately too. He, he sold some kind of shots, like satin shots. Um, these are shots that oh, you those. wear, folks, okay? For yeah. $69.42, and they sold out, like, in about a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> some short shorts. Yeah, some short Oh, satin shot shots, yeah. Satin, there you go. Satin shot shots for $69.42, man. This guy's so creative, it's amazing, man. <laughs> He's got his cult followers, man. They're in tow. They're, 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 they're there for the long haul. There's no doubt, man. No doubt. So. Yeah. Hey, how about Disney jumping around? So we get Disney. They're going to open their park starting this weekend, right? Um, a couple of them open up, I believe. I had it up here at some point, but a couple of them open up. You see, it's pricing in some action, man. It's really interesting just trying to digest what Disney's going to do. Um with what's playing out in Florida, but they're going to re be there. You go Saturday, ending a four month shutdown. Yeah. Um, and I believe it's two parks, and then um, at Ep Epcot. Yeah, I'm just reading it, and then a couple of the sh a couple of them open five days from right now on the 15th too. So they got a couple opening this weekend, um, and a couple opening on the 15th. Yeah. But and it's then, then they got the International Food and Wine Festival, and you know that's a big festival, folks. Okay, I, oh. I've been to it. Um, and that's, it's normally mob, but you're, that's strictly an outside deal. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. so I. The, the problem there is it, it's also a lot of food, finger food, yeah. drinks. Um, I've been there as well. Not, and not and right now, the, the, it's going to be like 95 degrees. So it's like, Jeez. good luck to you, you know, walking around 95 degrees. That's why I don't go that thing anymore. 95 man. feels like 105, yeah, man, with right. the humidity. Right. Um, 
but Disney, you know, giving it a little bit of a boost, man, right from the open, up two bucks, uh, up 1.3 percent. So I imagine you might see that accelerate a bit because that's one of those ones, man, that just really has struggled. Obviously, the parks. I saw something about um, for L.A., California, the amount of shoots, live, live um, on on set shoots going on. It's like down 98 percent for the quarter, man. It just dried up. Period. You know, you bringing people together for a big movie production, stuff like that. Just was not happening for three months. Period. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, no matter once you start getting the spread, folks, the government can do whatever they want to do to keep saying that, you know, everything's cool. And that's what we had. We had our governor in Texas this morning. I mean, Texas in Florida this morning, folks. DeSantis, which has not been a bad governor, but he's blowing it on this thing. He he had a press conference today in um, Jacksonville, and. Bottom line is that he's saying, uh, hey, listen, we, we still got to go forward. We got to go forward. Jacksonville has more cases than any, any city in the whole, all of Florida, man. I mean, yeah. And, and I mean, the tough part is the only way to go forward, so people know, man, is is to get this thing under some semblance of control. All right. That's that's my take. Because oh, yeah. Well, the numbers it's at right now, you can say it just like you're saying, but it's not going to happen, man. I'm not going to Disney. People aren't going to, you know, people are going to Disney, not to the tune that's going to print profits for the company and, and allow hiring and, and robust economy. Um, no, you, you need well, to- my, my point is, and this is what's pretty cool, folks, okay? This shows the power just of people in general. That in Florida right now, so picture this, they're pushing, pushing, pushing schools and all this. No one's going to do anything. They're not even going out. It's not going to, it doesn't matter yeah. what the leaders are saying. And then they, they're going to really find out the power of the people because that, that's what's happening. You know, they're what? saying one thing, yeah. but guess what? People are not going out. <laughs> it's misplaced <laughs> optimism, man, and people ain't, people ain't stupid. You yeah, know? they don't um, want to freaking die. Or, go, yeah. guy, or basically bring it home and have their parents die that's, or their grandparents die. That's a tough die. deal, man. Right. You know? Yeah. So um, we get a freaking mess down here. Yeah. Like, And, you know, for the arguments of, listen, we, we got to have life go on, right? People can't live in a box and nothing. That's not the other side of the debate, folks. The whole rest of the world, the whole rest of the developed world, if you look at it, Europe, they've squashed the curve. My One of my best friends lives in Switzerland. Switzerland, they're having 50-person parties on rooftops because they squashed this thing. All right? So you got to squash it. Then you can resume yeah. to normal life. That's that's you know, this is not like um, it's an it's somehow we've adopted this thing that you can't like it's it's unachievable what the whole rest of the world has done. Right. The developed world, Europe, that they've squashed the curve. That's unachievable. It's not true. So exactly. Right. Right. The, the good news, I think, is people are catching on to it, though, because, you know, yeah, unfortunately, they're being forced to. Right. Because 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 of, uh, of how bad things are getting. So. Yeah, but, well, that, that's my, exactly. You know, the politicians right. they can go out there all day long I've and say, it. hey, you're going to go back to school. You're going to do this. Really? Well, you, why don't you go to school? You it's know? too stark, yeah. man. You know, with people who have small kids, everybody, if you got small kids, maybe you got grandparents, man, you know, and you're not about to just have your kids in school with 500 kids. At, you know, it's 100 kids. It's 30 kids. And then what? You're going to go hang out with um, the grandparents at a birthday gathering? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, it's not, not happening. Not in this lifetime. So. No. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at that dollar. So the dollar is starting to lose it again. This is going to get, you know, we're getting down to these points, folks, that it's been hanging tough at this 96 area. We rejected lower price yesterday uh, at the 96.235. What you have out here today, though, is that you gave it up on price again. So your probability is that you're still building cars to try to get into this 95714. Now if we go over to the euro and take a look at the euro, the euro, there you go. The euro rejected lower price out here today. 11255, you're at 11321. That's 60% of the dollar index. Then we go to the pound. Same deal. Yep. The pound rejected lower price at 125.67, you're at 126.58. And then let's just do the yen. Oh, this is nice for gold people. Oh, this is nice. The yen, this is down 51 ticks, man. That's a big number. Especially when the Nikkei is not opened. Yeah, this is, as the yen goes down, folks, that gets stronger. So you get those three currencies coming against the dollar pretty strong. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 160. NASDAQ is uh, down 18. S&Ps are up 8.5. Come right back.
back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of tfnn.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow up about 156. NASDAQ uh, down 15. S&Ps are up 8. Uh, bottom line, see, uh, with the, you know, you get those, those S&Ps, man. They're still hanging tough, man. I mean, you know. Uh, 3150. Yeah. Come on. That's like the best price ever in the S&Ps, if you had said that. Are we? Uh, that's, that's like, I think we're 1,000 points right now. 2174 was the low in March. 3150. I'm okay with 3150 right it's, now. You know, <laughs> right? And, and it, where it is, folks, it's, it's still hanging at this uh, June 11th uh, time frame. That's what it's trying to get through. I mean, this is a strong area, man. You talked about it, it with Amazon, right? It's just going so far. Amazon could, you, I remember you said 2,700. You're going to have to recalibrate it when it keeps going up to 4,000, man. But you could just get a, I mean, the S&Ps, man, there would be nothing wrong if the S&Ps back at 3,000. We've hit that level a couple times. That oh, would yeah. be great. Why not? You know, we were just at 2,100. Um, so 3,150 going into Friday with cases spiking. Florida just reported their numbers, man. It was like 11,500 cases. Uh, we had a huge amount of testing yesterday, which is good. You want to see that the positive percentage at about 12.75 percent. So down a little bit. Um, record number of testing. I think 95,000 people tested for the day, but still 11,500 cases coming out of Florida alone. And another 93 deaths, I believe. The seven-day average was 42. Yesterday, it was at 120. Um, you're seeing those numbers rise dramatically. That's the most worrisome thing in there, man. But the market, not too worried just yet. No. 
<laughs> I know. At all. I know. At all. Okay. And yeah. th that's where I just keep going back to this inflation deal. Okay. Because the, the, that now I, what, what's happening here, folks, this is just a fundamental thought process I'm going through because I'm trying to figure out how can the market stay sustained at these levels. It's not going to be because of earnings. It could be, you know, if inflation's kicking in, it'll be a higher number that will still buy you less. The that's battle happening. over that stimulus, too, man. Those that runs out at the end of this month. Oh, You're gonna, yeah. That's that's starting right now. Oh. Stay right there, folks. Think of some coming up next. Basil Chapman, Steve Rose, Dave White. I'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. <laughs>